Another one in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make a state machine and get all four. To get started, let's go to create an enumerator that will hold all of our states. So we'll just create a new enum, call it states, and we'll put in idle, walking, and running. We can go ahead and set our default state to states dot idle. If we want to change our state, we can create a function for that. So function change state, and we'll take in a new state. We'll set state to new state. And now you can decide what to do with your states. I'll go to create a function for each state. So function idle. We'll just go to print idle. And we can go ahead and call these in the physics process function. We'll create a match. We'll pass in state. If states dot idle, we will run idle. And this is purely for example. However, I do recommend using other methods to call these functions. But one example is if the user presses a key, we want to switch to walking. So if input dot is action just pressed up, we can go ahead and change scene or change state, sorry, to states dot walking. And so now that we're in walking, we can go ahead and check if our input action is sprint. And if it is, we will change states to states dot running. But we can also check if input dot is action released up, and then we can go back to idle. So we'll copy and type idle. And to get back to idle, we also need to check if we are not pressing up. And if we're not, we'll change our state to states.idle. And in our running function, we'll check if we are no longer sprinting. And then we'll change it to walking, actually. So now, if we're idle and we begin walking, we'll begin walking. If we are sprinting, we'll go to running. And if we stop sprinting, we'll, we'll go back to walking. And if we stop walking, we'll go back to idle. So to demonstrate, we'll press play. If I start walking, so pressing up, it'll say walking. Then we go to running. And if I let go of everything, it'll all go back to idle. Anyways, guys, I hope you found this story helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.